what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel i have another tip slash why i do what i do video so you may be wondering what is this about why is it kind of a tip slash what i do it's because this video is on something that some people will disagree with me on and some won't some will be on the same uh brain wave as me but I just look at it this way. This is going to tie into a tournament situations. So this is going to be whether you're bagging something like a glitch or a polecat is actually useful over top of just an understable putter. So what I have here, this is a Glow Atomic 2E. And this is one of the soft uh, neutron, I think that's what it is, glitches. I know it's a glitch, but uh, yeah, I think it's a soft neutron. So. For a while now, before the glitch, I bagged a polecat for very easy any shots uh, that are like 100 and even up to close to like 200 foot holes depending on the situation. And I've heard a lot of people say it's overrated, you don't need a disc like that, it's not useful, that's old, old technology, whatever, insert why as to why you shouldn't bag a disc like this because they don't understand it or they don't like it. For me, what they say, just take an understable putter and do the same thing. Yes, but also no, okay? And this is my why. Because yes, can I make an understable putter do that? Yes. Am I confident I can do that with an understable putter? Yes, but hear me out. In a tournament situation, whenever you have pressure on you, mentally, physically, whether it's down the line and maybe you're in competition for first, maybe you're pushing, that builds and builds and builds. And guess what happens when you're under pressure? You either rise or you can falter you can make mistakes. My reasoning for bagging a disc like this is for that situation or to eliminate it. So for me, to execute that low power shot with a putter, it to an extent is more technical with more risk of a mess up that could cost you a stroke. I'll see if I can give you an example with this. I'm gonna try to kind of throw like a bad shot with this. So I'm going, wanting to throw an Anheuser that just goes over to that basket there. But, like that, okay. That's still in the circle, but it was bad. Now I'm going to try to throw this the same way I threw that nose up, which is a possibility whenever you're trying to throw an, an ante and you don't pull down and through, is you go nose up, you go, okay, well, that's just immediately perfect for the video there, but, <laughs> good, that's why you should bag the glitch. Um, what I'm trying to point out there is with that style of disc that just went right into the basket, um, if you mess up the nose angle on that shot, that disc is still, as long as you get the actual angle of release correct, is more likely to stay on the path that you gave it instead of doing the nose up, stall out, drop as a regular putter wheel. As you saw, that putter over there was on any nose up, but what was happening was that that air pushing against the bottom of the disc is not going to actually let it move to the right really. It's just going to push it up and drop because of the speed of the disc. If it's more likely to get a stabled up dump or just drop as those want to glide kind of like a Frisbee. And in those pressure situations, you want the easiest shot for you to execute and your lowest percentage miss. I always tell people, pick whatever shot 
you were comfortable with and what is your highest percentage of executing or go away from the one that you have the, the lowest percentage of actually executing. And for a lot of people, a backhand ante is pretty difficult to actually execute correctly. And that's why I think that's a good disc. And that's why I bag both. Now, some people will be comfortable with that putter shot and they'll just do that and that's fine if that's your cup of tea. I just like eliminating all factors that could cause me to mess up. And right now I'm not limited to what I can actually bag. I just have to bag molds, but I don't have a limit on what I can bag. So if you don't mind carrying discs like me, I think that's a very good option to have. It's a utility disc, don't get me wrong. It is for utility. It's for scramble shots, for that shot right there, I can get that disc to go 120 feet by doing this, just snapping my wrist. And that's why I think it's really good for scramble situations for that shot shape. I tell people I bag it when I want to throw a forehand in a scramble shot, but I can't because I'm surrounded by trees. And if I step into a forehand situation, there's a tree right here. If I strap, if I, uh, patent pending out and just at least can get like a wrist flick like that I'm going to get the forehand type of shape without any skip you let me know what you think because I think that's a pretty good result that's all we got that is all I have for this tip if you have more tips you want me to do leave me some comments down below uh, it could be anything. I will try to give you the best answer that I have or my actual opinion on stuff. If you think that's something you want to hear, let me know. I am glad to do it. So that's all we got. Till next time, peace.